before I glue this other side on, um, when you're drilling a hole, start off with the smallest one. This whole size right here is a 5 30 seconds hole, which should be within a certain set of drills. So, yeah, you're going to start off small in the center and work your way up because this is the side of the paper. It's, it's a little bit harder to get it to go through there correctly. So start off small and high RPM, slow feed rate. There's the hole right there with the 1 16th inch drill and see that? How it goes through? Yes. So just work your way up with bigger sizes. Remember high RPM, you know, slow feed rate as you don't want this to split. Alright, so for this part, I actually used a Q-tip saturated with super glue because that seems to work pretty good. Um, so here it is, here's the lock. I can actually lift this up a little bit. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. If I take this spring off of here. It's kind of hard without tweezers or something, but there it is. There's a little tab right there. Uh, right there. And um, I put it through this hole and basically glued it in. So the spring will go onto that little, I guess, knob you could say, and it pushes the lock. So I will show you that really quick in action. Okay, so I will probably cut the spring a little bit shorter, but because that's the reason why, really, it does that. Um, so if I push this down here, like cotton on my finger from the Q-tip. Alright, well, something like that. So, it springs just like that. There, you can see the little tab right there. So this will go here, behind this lock, you know, like that. And then when it goes forward, just like that. Let me show you a little slower. See that? Obviously, I need a little less friction, but that's how that works. All right, so for this part, you're going to need a Q-tip right here and you're going to want to cut it so it is two hundred thousandths of an inch long but before you do that saturate it with a little bit of super glue toward the edge alright so it's measured right there so now you're just going to want to get a little tiny strip of paper that is a hundred thousandths of an inch wide that you're gonna wrap around this half of it right there with super glue after that, you should have a thicker diameter on the top. So, it should just be enough to fit through this hole and have the thicker part on the going through the hole. And it will stay there. So, you can use a flat table to help push it to make it flat. Sorry, I'm doing it out of the camera. And then you just take a little bit of super glue and go over right there uh, all right so it seems pretty tough I just made this quick little sketch of what the sliding portion will look like and um, so basically it looks like this after you cut it out and it should be able to be all the way to the top of this entire component and halfway on this lock and when it goes all the way down which obviously needs to be sanded it will be halfway on this one and all the way down on this one so yeah cut this out pretty much 16 layers depending on how your frame is it's gonna be a little bit different so I just made these extra 16 layer thick layers I guess you could say and they 
basically go underneath it right here. You just glue them on. It doesn't really matter how wide they are, they're just there to not have it be pretty much rubbing and causing friction on the blade, not letting it come out correctly, but yeah, so I'm going to glue both of these onto the back. I'm cutting these rail parts on the drawing that I made right here, these two little shapes, right there, going down. I don't know if you can really see that, but I'm putting those on here right now, just like this. Here's one, and the other one will go right here. I just need to cut it a little bit shorter. I just drew out a blueprint kind of thing for the hook, and I started building it right here. <clears throat> it's actually a little bit thinner than this will be, but I'm doing that so I can sand down the sides, but basically I'm going to sandwich this paper clip between two pieces of paper, and I will show you the shape right here. That's the shape, so it will stay in there, so there's a little loop there. Okay, I moved over here for a second so I can show you with better lighting. There's this little groove on here that I cut out, like a channel. So this paper clip will be able to fit about halfway through it. And then I can do the same with the other one, so it'll pretty much have that shape cut out, so this will fit just like that. Oh, yeah, just like that. It's glued there right now. See this? So that's the paper clip is glued there, and that pretty much bend right there is to prevent it from going out with the tension always being pulled on it. Just finished gluing them together, and now you can see the paper clip right there, the bent paper clip. And now I can put both other sides, both of the other sides on. So I will do that and I will pretty much polish it up and then I'll show you. So here is the sliding component and I have both locks or hooks there right now. I'll take it off. So These are the hooks and uh, luckily to the, thanks to the super glue and baking soda, I could increase the length just a little bit, which you don't have to do that. I just did that because I wanted a little bit more stability, but you don't have to do that. Um, so you can see the hook right there. It's reinforced with super glue and baking soda on the sides and everything with both of them. And basically, they just slide right here like that. And you want to make sure it's flush on the top and flush right here. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And this should extend just a little bit past these two thickened areas. Alright, so after a little bit of material added here, right there, just above the lock, it has a little space there because my these hooks on here, they actually go a little bit above the, while well, being flush with the rails, so yeah, there's just a little hole right there, it's pretty easy, and um, this one is pretty, pretty good, frictionless, see how it is a little bit lower than these? Like that. So this one is still a little, you know, sticky-ish. Not literally, but you know what I mean. And um, yeah, so there you go, and it locks like that. And this will pull it back when I put the shape on the blade. So now I'm going to show you how to put these levelers on right here. I measured halfway on these sides. You can kind of see a mark, pencil mark. And I have this shape right here. And basically it's the same width as this portion right here. And it's like a little step and it just goes like, just like this. Right? That way it will be at the same height as these locks here with this extra little step added. So it will go here, and it only protrudes out as far as halfway on here. See that? So that's all you really need to do. And I'll glue that on, and I'll show you how to do the other side so you're more clear. So I measured this. On mine, it's 0.3. 
you know, 300,000 of an inch. And you're going to want to measure half of that. So, yeah, measured half of that, and I drew a line on there. See? And I put it on a 16 layer piece of paper. It's not quite dry yet, so I can cut it. And I marked half. This is what's going to ride on the lower part, so it's not going to be touching this, only the side of it will. So here it is, right here. So it will go right here, just like that, next to it. And now I just need one the entire width from here to this rail. I just put the piece right here, the overall length, as I just had that little sliver underneath there and it basically creates a step if you can see that so it's pretty much a step and I've also cut down the edges a little bit more on this blade so now you can kind of see I still have to do it on this side and probably cut off the tip a little bit not the tip of the blade just this rail and um, so I can make that sharp as well this little shape right here on the blade is what these hooks hook onto and it unlocks it at the same time which allows it to go back and um, if you don't have normal pen springs you actually can bend some aluminum and you can use the peg in here that you put the pen spring on normally that helps push it and spring it forward and it's a very weak spring but you don't need a strong one for those locks see how that works now it's locked alright so what you're gonna wanna do is take this and on this component here you need two bars one right here and one right here these are three quarters, well not three quarters, these are one quarter of an inch wide and they are an inch and a half long. See I just drew a little arrow there, so you're going to need to put some layers underneath it too and cut out a little groove because these rubber bands are right here and put layers right here so it will stay flat. Here's the piece right here has some steps to allow it to fit right here see that over the rubber bands we don't need any more friction if you're having trouble getting this mechanism to work chances are you um, have a little bit too much friction probably going on maybe check these hooks make sure nothing's rubbing on here or maybe these springs are too strong that can have a big effect make sure your blade runs smoothly on the rail and pretty much just check everything and make sure the sloped surface is smooth and you'll eventually find the problem if you have one 